Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will make a guide video, so sit back, relax, and I have to sit up. <laughs> uh, I will tell you guys how I built my Pamela, what steps did I take, what order did I do it in, how, how is my Pamela like she is today, how, how, how did she get 105 million bath rating. So yeah, I will get started, shall I? So what I first did in the ver very beginning, uh, actually I built a Hux Huxley first. That was before my Pamela. So then I focused on gear, focused on getting full eternal set, focused on getting eternal belt, eternal helm, eternal armor, and great sword because she gets a lot of affinity from that, or at least from sword and belt. So focus on those first. I would first focus on sword for the attack, and then focus on belt. And once you have a full eternal set, you start stirring them up, f get focus on everything 3 star. You have legendary gear here, don't even focus on eternal gear for anyone else. <laughs> yeah, and after you have done this, this is probably the first thing I've focused on. That was getting a 6 star sword. That gives you a, a lot of stats. So after you have 3 star your gear, focus on your sword. That was the first th thing I focused about. If you're a new player, Get all the legendary on her first, upgrade the stars, um, but always focus on getting eternal shards first. And once you have done this, while you're doing this, you probably have gotten red relics, mythical relics. Uh, you need a relic with, this will be a typical relic you would want if you don't have a yellow. That gives attack, damage, and absorbs damage as HP, that means lifesteal. Which you, you just need, it's very important, it's one of the most important things ever. And you want either a damage reduction, rage per turn and HP per turn, or like, um, for example, uh, yeah, HP, rage and HP per turn. So you want that on your on your Pamela. And that's that's very important. And what, what do you focus on first when it comes to Relic? First off, you focus on getting the relics, then you focus on runes and engraving and enchantment. And everything is kind of equally equal, equally important. So my advice would be to, for example, get focus on both relics to make them high stars. Make the attack relic higher higher stars than you than normal. So if you have a five star five star shield, get a seven star Wyrmheart, for example. Or a Tor Summer, depending if you don't have if you don't have red relics quite yet. And what you want to do about that, you, you focus everything attack by attack every day. Get a level 10 attack rune on her on both. Attack runes level 10 attack runes on both here. Uh, even level 9, focus and get both level 8, both level 9, or both level 7, level 8, level 9. Focus up that way. And after you have done that, get by a lot of HP runes, by a lot of attack and HP. HP is very useful in the beginning. Yeah, I'm not using HP because I have such higher buffs from everything giving me HP. So yeah, you need, you should focus HP. And uh, what else should you buy? You should save up uh, rune gems to, to fuse runes. So you can save up a level 8 hit and a level 8 attack and get that. Focus that first before any other fusion rune. And you can decide what you want. I The most basic is HP, attack, defense. Attack, hit, HP, dodge, and def defense, end. But you can get that shit. You can go a little bit spicy like me and get crit. Crit is very useful. You can do this strategy. Attack, HP, crit. And you don't. I don't think you really need hit. So just get a HP inside of that hit. So once you have focused on stars a little bit, and you, by by the, you have seven stars on both, you probably have a decent engrave. So it's important to get engrave. Uh, no uh, relic crystals. You can get them from here, but you don't shouldn't waste much topaz on them. So you can get them from mall uh, item. Oh, I'm actually not on full screen. Sorry, I will fix this. How long I've been recording for? Four minutes. So what you want to do? You don't wanna want this even as well. In different events, I won't click on Valentine's because it freezes my game. You, you can get relic crystals from here, for example. So just get her up on those. You can get her up as well from Team Arena Shop. Uh, I won't show that, but you can get that. Not Team Arena Shop, I mean Team Domination, so whenever that is. Yeah, so just get a lot of relic crystals to have ready for upgrading uh, your engrave. 
because that's what gives the most battle rating in the relic, period. So focusing on a lot of engrave is very important. I would dare say it's actually more important than... Uh, well, enchanting is also very good, so I don't know. Engrave is very important as well, but enchanting can be a little bit easier. Especially early on, it's easier. So once you have, once once you're upgrading these things, these relics, you probably will upgrade your sword to six stars. Then focus on your belt six six stars. Then focus on your chest plate and helm. It doesn't really matter, I guess, helm first because Pamela uses magical attack, and you will face many Pamlas up over up over your time. So this is what's important for gear, and of course engrave or re re uh, refine, focus on R40 first. First of all, R40 sword first, R40 belt, so you should focus sword, belt, helm and armor. You get that? You get that? Good. As for relics, keep them as high as your level, don't care about any of the relics until you have them good. So that's, that's a good thing to start about. This is gear wise, this is gear wise. I focused on gear, gear very early on. This is th what I focused on in order for gear and relics and runes. So let's head over to my Pamela here. Let me just. Should I get a Dora? I guess making a plus 10 Dora wouldn't hurt, even though I want to. Uh, yeah, let me send a Dora. This was just. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, let's continue then. Um, now you can see my, my Pamela here. She is plus 11 evolve. W when did I focus on upgrading aptitude and upgrade? Well, first off, I started in the beginning, very beginning. I had like everyone like level 7 and Huxley level 10, or upgrade 10 rather. And uh, you just focus every every blessed stone you have. Perhaps make everyone R6 and then focus everything on uh, Everything on your family or Moira or whoever you focus to R15. Focus every blessed stone on that from the beginning. And buy blessed stones from guild shop, from arena shop, from everywhere you can pretty much without it being a trouble problem though. Uh, yeah, so upgrading is a high priority because that gives your Pamela so, so high stats and the skills just get stronger and everything is just perfect. As for aptitude, focus on attack first, get that to 120 before even starting on those even, maybe get that to 50 and those to 50 and the rest to 120. Focus all your aptitude codexes on this, not even your main, don't even use it on your other heroes until you have this very high, at least to 100, 100 and 120, then you can probably focus on others. As for animate, focus every anima coins, every, every single thing, yeah I upgraded this one my Pamela by the way, I forgot that. Upgrade, focus all your anima focusing, uh, that's why it's good to have a Moira I guess early on, just to 3 star a lot of anima as you can unlock more anima. Uh, so yeah, just focus on all your anima, get high in anima chapters with your upgraded Pamela for example. If you have a very strong one hero, one hero team, you can 3 star all anima pretty much. So that's very useful, so focus on all anima before even focusing on anyone else. Yeah, this is very important, but you should probably upgrade everyone's anima to level 2 because it's quite quite cheap. Then, or even, yeah, just complete level 2. And then you then you focus everything on uh, anima's pot on your main hitter. Yeah. As for augmenting, have, uh, have Pamela and Hero Shop every single day. I don't have her right now because I don't have much souls. But always have her in Hero Shop. Then you just blitz here, do as much uh, refreshing you can every day. Um, that's a decent amount, decent way to get uh, Pamela shards. Another way is to get uh, from uh, Elite Chapter 18 and Chapter 13. So let me just go back and show you guys. There we go. And Chapter 13, Elite. It's easy. Uh, I even have that unlocked, unlocked on my main. <laughs> or <laughs> my main. My Let's Play account. So don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, I focused on augment very early on. It was it's very important to get her plus seven early so she becomes immune to debuffs. Just focus a lot on augments. Once you have her augment eleven, you can just buy an evolution core if you have the money for it and evolve her. And then you just build Pamnas on the side. And once you have enough Pamnas for for example, augment twelve. Uh, let me show you guys here. If you have it, yeah, because right here. Uh, let's say let's say I needed my Pamela to plus plus one plus one evolve. That means I need her augment twelve. 
So that you just look at how much you need here. You need four Pamlas, then you save up four Pamlas from Hero Shop and Elite Engines. Then you just revert your Pamla, get the evolution core back, augment her to augment 12, and then evolution, evolution again. Then she would be evolution one instead of evolution zero, so you don't have the waste. You don't have the waste uh, extra Pamlas because it just costs more and more Pamlas. So that's a good strategy. Always focus on origin power dev at max. That's quite straightforward. <laughs> so yeah, you got you guys got yeah you got that cool cool. Yeah, I want mine augment twelve already. Super evolved. Anyway, that's very important. Always focus on a lot on augments. Should it be prioritized over? Well, it's kind of it's kind of a puzzle, you know. Getting blessed stones has nothing to do with getting Pamela shards, so you can really focus a lot of things at once instead of just focusing one on one thing. Same with animates. So yeah, just just get her high, you know. But just the order I did it, I upgraded gear on this own thing. I upgraded, yeah, just about what you should focus on, you know. And what order you should do it in, but the the thing is that you can do all at once. You don't have to focus on one particular thing. I don't. I just upgraded her animate level. I just uh, upgraded my pet awaken system. I just upgraded a, a lot of things at once. So you don't even you because it's all different systems. You get blast stones from that system and anima coins from that another, another system. So it's kind of whatever. Same with pets. Always. Uh, what what order should you focus pets in? You may ask. By the way, let me just do this. If you can AFK extra reward every single day, focus it. Just AFK it. Get enough points uh, to buy uh, all the mastery stones you can daily, and uh, if you can buy buy healer shards, you can just recycle those uh, and get souls, which is which is very useful. It's a nice thing to gain souls. Uh, other than that, let's let's head over to battle pets. What you should do is buy two shards every day for Azurus, no matter what level you are, if you can do it. Yeah, because Azurus will be your main deployed pet, it's the best pet ever, so yeah, do that. But you guys can see, why have I picked Ifrit in Grace, why have I picked Undine, Pixie, Star Striker and Cat Familiar, what does Cat Familiar, Star Striker and Ifrit have in common? They all give attack. You guys can see that, attack and aura, attack and aura, and attack and aura. So that's very useful to focus on them. them. And they're good at battle rating as well, so they give a lot of grace. And because that are, that's the only ones I can right now, I will use this guy instead of one of the healer ones. This gives HP and, and a lot of good things, like dodge and stuff. So Pixel and Din is also good for grace, they also give a lot of, a lot of stats. Yeah, that's why. Because the reason I'm using these two is because I have no other fairy, which is or battle pet, which is good, giving attacking grace or aura. That's why. So let's focus on. I would say focus on Star Striker the most to get him high augment quickly and refine. Uh, just get your source R7 or R6 or whatever. You don't don't focus on him on on the deployed fairy the most. Don't do it. So after we focus on Star Striker, uh, Ifrit gives a good amount of attack, so why not? He gives a crit as well. And then you focus on Cat Familiar in that order. And then you focus on, let's see here. Then you focus on Pixie, and then you focus on Undine. Until you get Dragonite. You can buy two shards of him every time as well. Then I would uh, remove Undine, if I were you. Uh, yeah, that, then it's very important to focus on Awaken as well. Buy Pet Awaken Crystals from Challenger's shop every single day. It can't hurt. And get them every once in a while if they're cheap in events, because you're going to need a lot of them. And energy gems will go by themselves. I don't think it's... Sorry, I <laughs> just scratching. Yeah, I don't think it's worth buying these guys from events, even though I did to get Awaken 11 right now, yesterday or something. And just put every hero in grace, don't prioritize anything, you just lose a lot of battle rating. Uh, so yeah, just keep this guys in, these guys in your grace and focus on your deploy. This should be focused equally as much as the grace, even maybe even less, in my opinion, anyway. So that's the order you should focus that on. Let's head over to mount. What should you do for mount? Uh, let me show you guys uh, codex. Let me claim some codex and do this mid thing. Yeah, let me get some HP here. Yeah, as for codex, if you have all the mounts, you can just see what I have. Three stars, 
through. Yeah, I got all three stars there. I'm focusing on attack first. I don't really focus here, even though I should. Uh, so yeah, let's head over to advance. Who should you advance? Well, for me, I advanced everything to level 3 because it was so cheap and even 4 here and 6 there. The reason I did that is because it increases the dodge of the squad a lot, so I focused on that. But always focus the most on your Lunar Beast. If you don't have a Lunar Beast, I suggest you get it. If you start on your Pamela, you get a lot of rage per turn for 3 turns. 270 rage per turn for 3 rounds. That's enough to win a game. So focus a lot on that. Get that as high as you can. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did. I focused on this first. First of everyone. So yeah. As for augments and things, focus on your Pamela. Focus on the orb first of all. Orb is the most important one. Get that to freaking enhance 50, enhance 60, augment, augment 8 as soon as you can. Uh, then focus on Helm. You can, you can, I guess you can have everything plus 30 and Helm like plus 40 or something with R5 to get uh, the second buff at least. And then just focus all out on orb to get it alright. Then focus on Helm. And these two you can just focus on later. They, they, they're not so good, I guess. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, I just explained this to you guys. That's the order I did that in. And now we're on the soul arms. Why uh, do I do I have this? It's just to make my team survive. My Pamela will of course survive anyway, but it's good for my party to survive and do their skills and stuff. And Divine Reeve, Reign of Blades is just to reduce enemy rage even more. Eternal Desire, yeah. This is kind of just what I have right now, it's it's whatever to be honest. But what what should you focus on first? Well, Divine Reaver is definitely the best soul arm to get first, uh, after of course the legendaries. Yeah, because you you have to focus on the soul arms that gives the attack, so you can use this, focus on that. You can focus on Staff of Desire, you can focus on... Uh, this is not very good to focus on to be honest. And you can focus on uh, a Bustle Blade. Focus on all the soul arms giving a lot of attack before anything else. Then you can focus on the ones giving HP of course. But yeah, attack is the most important, so focus on, on those. And you can just, can just see what gives the most attack. I would focus on Divine Divine Reaver. Then I would focus on Staff of the Sire. Then I would focus on this uh, blade. And then that a little bit, but not so much. Just make it R5 or R4 or even just R3, you, you're not going to use it. If you keep the same setup as me though. As for Enhance, oh, I focus a lot on Salvation to, de to decrease people's rage re reduction. So yeah, that's very important to focus on if you want if you want people to not rage kill as much. So upgrade that. That doesn't really matter. That kinda, that's kinda good. Yeah, as for here, I focused on that to gain immunity. Uh, yeah, you guys can just see for yourselves what I have done. And you guys can copy if you want to or not. R4, R4, R5, R3, R4, R... Yeah, you guys, you guys get the idea, right? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, what else? Now I focused on, showed you soul arms, battle pets, mounts. Uh, what skills do I use on my main? I use life bloom, that's heals, that's from emerald outfit. So get that, get that right now. As you see this video, get it from Valentine's special. Uh, I use this, uh, you can get enough crystals or four crystals from Expedition to get that and that's just great. It makes enemies not rage kill at all in the beginning, which can actually save your ass. It's a save mine and always save enraged might. That's quite easy to get. I will use Ive Storm because that hits before anything normal on my main account. On my Athena I mean, so use that. That decreases enemies rage even more. That's very important, the, ra the rage reduction. Uh, what else? I guess that's how I built my Pamela, but... Yeah, um, what else? I showed you Grace, um, Animus Path. Yeah, get the hero skin soon as well, if, if you have the money to it. If you get all the Mythic hero skins, you get a sick damage bonus. I really recommend that. Get our affinity bonus, of course. Um, animate level that we've talked about. Origin as super augment that we've talked about. Aptitude we have talked about. Enhance uh, everything like this we have talked about. Engrave we have talked about. Skills, of course. Get that as soon as you can. Armament. Medical duration aura. 
yeah, you guys can see we've gone through all everything, and I tried to explain to you guys what order I did it in. So I hope I hope this was a useful video. So let me know, give it a like if you want, if you please, thank you, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Goodbye. If you have any more questions, just comment down comments down below. Goodbye.